Speaking of to-do lists, that brings us to the purpose of weekly planners. Let's compare and contrast. The purpose of a calendar is so that you don't have any surprises. You can see down the road at what lies ahead. For example, you can see that your friend's birthday party is this weekend. Pretend this is after the pandemic. So why do you need a planner? You need a planner because of all the things you'll need to do in order to prepare for the thing that's on the calendar. For example, you want to remember to RSVP to arrange for a babysitter and to purchase a gift. Look at how empty the calendar seems. It's supposed to be that way. Your calendar should be clean and uncluttered, with only deadlines and events on there. This calendar only has three things, math homework due, birthday party on Saturday, and history paper rough draft on the 31st. By contrast, look at how busy the planner is. It breaks down each deadline into a series of to-do items. Notice how this person does not wait until Friday to do their math homework. They are doing problems 1 through 5 on Tuesday during their study time and problems 6 through 10 on Thursday during their study time. They are picking what days and times to get their work done based on their availability according to their schedule. Remember, your schedule stays the same from week to week. Creating a written schedule shows you when you have available time to work on things. The planner changes from week to week because it tells you what you need to work on during your available times. It's your daily to-do list. For example, this person has an hour of free time before this class, followed by a two-hour block of study time, followed by an accounting class, and then they have about 30 minutes before they have to start their commute. Since this person has made a to-do list in their planner for today, they can see when is the best time to get these things done. The hour before HDFS will be enough time for them to browse online for a gift and place the order. When they hit that two-hour block of study time, they can look at their planner and see that they need to do five math problems and pick a topic for their history paper. Notice that it doesn't just say, work on history paper. They have given themselves a specific task for today. Their mission is to pick a topic before accounting class starts. After accounting, there isn't a ton of time, but it's enough time to make some phone calls to find a sitter. If they get lucky and find a sitter right away, then they can enjoy some downtime or maybe get a little extra reading done. So to review, the calendar is to see all of your upcoming deadlines, the schedule is to determine your availability, and your planner is to create a to-do list for specific days based on what you know from your calendar and schedule. Next is procrastination.